Hi, today's problem that we are going to solve going to be about chromosome number and ploidy level. And here is a problem. A species has 2n equals 16 chromosomes. How many chromosomes will be found per cell in each of the following mutants in this species? And I want to uh, mention that 2n means uh, where the zygote when two um, gametes with a haploid number of chromosomes join it to form one cell with a double number of chromosome or normal chromosome number for um, a somatic cell and uh, in this particular organism normal somatic uh, number is 16. So uh, the first question is um, monosomic and uh, first let me show here the normal number for this particular organism that is 16 and that means that half of the chromosomes came from the female side and half from the male parent and normal number as you see 16 chromosomes and monosomic uh, you may try to solve all these uh, questions on your own just put a correct number in front of each question and then you can compare with my uh, solution uh, if you need hints, I can provide you a couple hints. Uh, here is the first one, and uh, this is somic, means that we the question about number of chromosomes, and ploid, the question about the whole sets of chromosomes. For example, this is one set of chromosomes from the male side, and this is another set of chromosome from the female side. So now you can try to solve all these problems on your own. Everything you know, you need to know probably uh, what mono, d, tree, tetra, uh, penta, and so on means. And you probably already know it from your chemistry course. So uh, all these uh, questions shouldn't present any uh, problem for you. And I will proceed. Uh, question A. Monosomic. And uh, this question about uh, number of chromosomes. And it means that we are missing one chromosome. Uh, it can be any chromosome, for example, from the female side. And uh, this condition gives us uh, 16 minus 1, 15 chromosomes. So this is correct answer for the question A. And question B, auto triploid. And what does it mean? Auto triploid means that we dealing here with uh, ploidy level and uh, triploid means that we have three sets of chromosomes for example two sets of chromosomes from the female sides and one set of chromosome from the male side how this might happen uh, there is two explanations one uh, for example when there were non disjunction during meiosis on the female side and we got two sets of chromosomes in uh, one gamete that join it with uh, normal haploid number uh, from the fem from the male side and now we have triploid uh, um, zygote another explanation that uh, diploid number is a normal for the gamete because uh, this uh, particular plant could be tetraploid 
So its gametes should be haploid and haploid number would be diploid number. And uh, this is normal haploid number. So uh, for this particular plant, uh, triploid number would be 16 plus 8, 24. So this is the correct answer for the answer B. And you probably can find many uh, triploid plants in your daily life. For example, all the seedless watermelons are triploid and many other seedless fruits like grapes and oranges, pears and apples are also triploid. And next question C. Out of tetraploid means that we have a tetra four, four sets of chromosomes, for example, um, two sets of chromosomes from the father side and two sets of chromosomes from the uh, female side. So in this case, we would have 16 plus 16, 32 chromosomes in such organism and uh, trisomic and somic here means that we the question about uh, number of chromosomes and three means that one chromosome is present in three copies and for example this could be any chromosome from the mother, from the female side or uh, male side. And in this case, this gives us 16 plus 1, 60, uh, 17 chromosomes. So, next question E double monosomic, and this gives us. Uh, one chromosome present, for example, uh, I can delete this chromosome from the male side and this chromosome from the female side. And what we got? We got 16 minus 2, 14. So the correct answer for double monosomic is 14. And nullisomic. Let me restore first our diploid number 16 and nullisomic is when we uh, miss one pair of chromosomes and uh, completely and in this case we also have a number of chromosomes 16 minus 2 14 but in previous uh, example uh, with double monosomic we were missing one chromosome but we still had other chromosome from that pair but with nullisomic we are missing one pair completely so uh, next question G out of pentaploid means that we have five sets of chromosomes penta means five and for example three sets of chromosomes from the mother side or female side and two sets of chromosomes from the male side. Uh, this also can be due to non-disjunction for example on the male side when uh, diploid plant produces diploid uh, gametes instead of haploid gametes or it could be normal if this plant tetraploid so its gametes would be diploid and here 
uh, one of the explanation might be that uh, this particular plant is uh, hexaploid and its gametes have half the number of chromosomes that is uh, triploid. So altogether we have five sets of chromosomes and one set is four chromosomes multiplied by five uh, and we have uh, oh sorry one set of chromosomes is eight number eight and multiplied by five we have answer 40 chromosomes and uh, the last question tetrasomic so first let me restore our chromosome number that we started with and this is uh, 16 and tetrasomic somic also give us a hint that this is question about uh, number of chromosomes and uh, tetra means four so here we might have uh, four chromosomes uh, for the chromosome number two and 16 plus two extra chromosomes give us correct answer 18 so we solved all problems today thank you for your attention Please subscribe to my new videos that I post every week and goodbye.